All right, gang, so I'm starting to show you guys the process of what I do in order to get up at 4.30 in the morning. In my last vlog, I kind of was telling you guys that I had been getting up at 4.30 and, you know, it was feeling good and you guys gave me an overwhelming um, response to kind of show y'all how I do it. Now, how I am able to get up at 4.30 in the morning is going to differ from you. It differs from your boyfriend, your girlfriend, my boyfriend. Everybody is different. These are the things that work for me. Um, so if you see what I am doing, take some of the things that I'm doing and make them your own. So for me, as you guys can see, it is Monday night. In order for me to have a successful 4.30 a.m. morning, I got to do some stuff the night before or else it's just not going to work. That's for me because then I'll be rushing, I'll forget something, and it won't go smooth. So it is 8.44 on Monday night, and I'm preparing to get up at 4.30 in the morning to go to the gym. And I also have an orthodontist appointment. So... As y'all know, I have a hydro jug and I drink my hydro jug every single day. Um, and I've been doing this for the last, I want to say two months or more, like really being um, serious about drinking water. So I have my hydro jug right here and I typically will drink this whole thing while I'm at work. I might have like a little bit left when I get off, but for the most part, I'll drink this whole thing. And it is, I want to say 73 Yep, 73 ounces. So, a little more than half a gallon because I think half a gallon is 64. So, a little more than half a gallon. So, I'm going to make my beauty water. And each day, my beauty water differs. It usually has pineapple in it, but um, the other flavor kind of varies. Or I'll just drink plain water. But since I'm drinking so much water, I like to have it flavored. So, what I do is I take our hefty de our hefty what bro what are you talking about man duty kettle and i'll go ahead and make my water hot and then in a glass i'll put like my my dry my dry items so here's my collagen i love the vital proteins collagen and peptides now i know sometimes people be like you can't really tell the difference honestly i can tell a difference i've been incorporating this again for like the last couple months and i can tell that my skin my hair and my nails are growing super fast and also my skin is just like has more bounce back and it seems more fresh so i would recommend adding collagen to your drinks i do two scoops but again it's up to you two scoops is a serving so i put two scoops in a glass and then i'll put in a flavor packet which i'll show you so um this is like our little flavor packet bucket. I know everybody got flavor packets. So this is just where we store ours. So typically I'll use um, pineapple. Y'all know I love the one from Dollar Tree. I don't even know if I have any more left. But it's the Sun Kiss pineapple. And then I usually, this is my favorite right here. The Sun Kiss pineapple. So I'll take one of these and then another flavor. So tonight I did a Sun Kiss pineapple and a Sun Kiss orange. So I just made like a pineapple orange flavored water. So two packets and then two scoops. And then I just like to stir it up until it's all the way dissolved. Because if you don't, you'll have like those chunks. And I think this is a important step to do in the evening because you know, it takes a little while to boil the water and then um, get your ingredients out, get your collagen. So I just like to do it at night. That way your water can, you know, get cold in the fridge overnight. So after it's mixed, to my liking i go ahead and add that mixture to my hydro jug so we're gonna do that now it's gonna be steaming hot so i just add that to my hydro jug and then i'm gonna go in with as many bottles i need which i believe is four and a half or five to fill up my hydro jug put my straw in put my top on and put it in the fridge so that's one thing that i do I 
just add my little straw in that comes with the hydrogen and pop the top on. The now that my beauty water is done i move on to like my lunch because i mean who's gonna make breakfast the night before um typically i have to see how i'm feeling like i might want hot breakfast i might just want coffee so of course i'm not gonna get that ready but i do go ahead and get my lunches ready so another tip that i could give is meal prepping meal prep meal prep and if you're new here i wasn't a big fan of meal prepping but now i definitely am on board with the meal prepping because it just makes lunch and dinner so much easier and it just kind of takes the stress off of you yes you have to spend more time in the kitchen while well, i don't because babe does the cooking <laughs> <laughs> but i do the cleaning we a partnership, you know, but you do have to spend more time in the kitchen, like on a Sunday or whatever day. If you don't have weekends off, whatever day you're off, you will be in the kitchen more. However, in the long run, it's just so much more beneficial. So meal prepping, we have our meals prepped um, for the whole week. So I'm just going to grab one of these and I pretty much I don't put it in my bag tonight. I just get an idea of what I'm going to eat and I package it up and I package it up. So meal prepping is another thing that will help you get up earlier because it's one less thing you have to worry about. After I pack my food up and I know what I'm taking for lunch, I go ahead and move on to my snacks. So I typically would bring something like some Quest chips or some pretzels or something crunchy that I can just have in my desk. I love Quest chips because they're delicious, they're high in protein, low in carb, and you get that chip feel that you miss if you're trying to be like low carb. And then I also typically will always put something sweet in my lunch bag. So we usually always have these 70 calorie fiber one brownies. So I'll just take these out and then I'll just put them on the counter by my lunch bag. So that way when it's time to pack up, all I have to do is grab one of my meal plant, one of my meal preps out of the refrigerator, put it in my bag, grab my snacks. And then I typically We'll also grab something like this to throw in my bag. And like I said, these are quick things that you can either put in your lunch bag and just put your whole lunch bag in the refrigerator or just grab it before you walk out the door, but kind of have an idea of what you're going to eat so that you already know. So I'm just going to leave this out. I'm going to put these three in the refrigerator and just grab them in the morning. So meal prepping is the second thing um, that I would advise you do the night before. Pick it out, pack it up so that it's ready to go. All right, gang. And the last thing that I pretty much do in the kitchen um, is get out the supplements or whatever we're gonna use for the next morning. Now, I cannot take credit for this. I cannot take credit for this. They put me on a lot of tips because like I told y'all before, he is the pro at getting up at 4.30. I'm just jumping on the bandwagon because whatever he do, I do. Period. I'm just kidding. But no, for real. He has a very meticulous way of doing things and it works and it also works uh, really well for me. So getting your supplements out, having them on the counter, having them ready to go. So all you got to do is scoop, add your water, shake it up and drink. You're good to go. You're not rumbling through um, closets. You're not looking in drawers. Everything is out and ready to go. So typically, whatever we're going to have, whatever supplements we're going to drink, we just put them out. So I just took out my Alani New Balance Powder. Um, I have out my Alani New Super Greens. And then my favorite, favorite, favorite flavor from Alani New is the Witch's Brew. So I just have my pre-workout. And again, every day is different. I don't always take a pre-workout. Sometimes I drink coffee. Sometimes I just grab a bottle of water. Like, it just depends. And it's going to differ for you too. But just have it out. That way you got options, okay? And then same for Babe. He'll have some Alani New if he wants. But then he has his here. So he got some BCAAs, some creatine, and some pump, you know. But whatever, just have it out so that you're ready to go. And that's pretty much all I do in the kitchen. Um, I go ahead and I clean the kitchen and I clean the dishes and everything. So that way in the morning, I don't have to do it. The kitchen is clean. It's easy for us to move around before we head to work. So just, it's a lot at night. However, it's going to set you up for success. So 
First thing, make any mixed drinks. So I already did my beauty water. Second thing, meal prep, get your food together and make sure that everything you're taking is already out and just on the counter. And the third thing I would say is go ahead and get out like your supplements, your water, your pre-workout, whatever you're gonna need to get you woke, to get you up. It could be an energy drink, whatever you're gonna need, go ahead and either take it out or put it on the top shelf of the fridge, somewhere where you'll see it that's gonna help you wake up. Um, so that's the last thing that we do in the kitchen. Um, let's head to the bedroom. Okay, so as you guys can see, I got catfish on in the background. But another thing that you want to do is kind of get accustomed to like settling down and trying to go to sleep earlier. So if you look at the corner, you can kind of see that the light is still out a very little bit and it's nine o'clock. This is the perfect time, if you can, to just go ahead, get in the bed. Like we've already eaten dinner, we've already showered and it's just time to calm down for the night. So that's what we like to do when we really like trying to get up in the, in the morning early we go to sleep early because come on think about it how could you possibly get up at 4 30 if you don't go to sleep to midnight or later like that would be really hard to do so go ahead blow the candles out get in the bed and relax watch a couple shows from the bed read a book that way you're already in bed and ready so i'm gonna go ahead and blow out these candles and head to the back yeah. I, 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 too good, drink too strong, yeah, it's too change, I'm so gone. I, 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 girl, I know you want it. I know you want it. All right, and one of the last things that I do in order to get ready to wake up at 4.30 is to pretty much get my clothes out. Now, every night I don't pull them out. This is a babe thing. <laughs> but I know in my mind what I'm going to wear and where it's at. But I will say, if you're first starting out trying to get up at 4.30, get your clothes out and put them somewhere where you can just grab them. Or I know some people even sleep in their gym clothes. And then they just get out, get up, and just put they brush their teeth, wash their face, and go on. So, but for me, I go ahead and get out my gym clothes. So I just got a Nike shirt, sports bra, leggings, socks, and then I also get out my work clothes. That way, I don't even have to worry about what I'm gonna wear, where it's at, gotta find it. Get everything out and just put it on your couch, on the end of your bed, on your nightstand. Just put everything out so that you're not looking for it. Then one of the last the last thing i do for the most part before i go to sleep is figure out what am i gonna work out in the gym like what am i doing so this is just an example this is the elite glutes program i'm doing a program that babe has actually made for me but i don't have it on my ipad and i wanted to show you guys a visual so um the night before or at some point before i go to sleep i'll just go ahead and figure out what body part am i working and what i'm gonna do in the gym like i said i already have a personalized um plan for my personal trainer but if you don't go ahead and try to you know research and see if you did legs yesterday do arms today back however you're gonna do it just make sure you know what you're doing because it's already 4 30. so at least you will know what you're doing so that's one less thing you have to worry about and then like i said go to sleep early so when we try to get up at 4 30 we try to be asleep in the bed by like 10 o'clock so yeah with all that being said I will catch up with you guys in the morning and it'll be showtime. Good morning. It's 4 30. I'm so tired, but let's go. All I did was get up, brush my teeth, wash my face. Now I'm putting on my gym clothes. To the kitchen take some pre-workout and we're gonna go i think it's easier when you have someone doing it with you um because baby's already out of the bed and dressed but another tip that i would do if i was doing it alone is i would set my alarm for 4 30 and put it all the way across the room that way i have to get up to get it 
turn it off. So let's put our shoes on, take some pre-workout, and head to the gym. Right, gang. So it is about 4:59, and we are headed to the gym. Um, so, like I was saying in the house, I was talking low because I was still trying to wake up, but. Babe and I are both headed to the gym. We don't typically ride together because I'm always having to leave before him. Um, his job is a little bit more flexible as far as time is concerned, whereas mine is a true eight to five. So we drive separate um, and I typically get there a little bit before him and then I leave before him. So. Yeah, I'm headed to the gym now, and y'all, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough, and it's gonna be hard initially trying to like actually get up at 4:30 because that is such a early, early time. But if you have goals and if you're truly, truly motivated, then it will get easier. But like I said, the way to make it very easy is to simply get everything out get everything out the night before prep the night before get your work clothes out just get everything ready so for me i'm gonna go to the gym i'll probably get to the gym about five stay till about 5 45 5 50 then i'm gonna drive home i'm gonna take my shower do my hair get ready and then i'm gonna leave my house around 6 30 to make it to my orthodontist appointment for seven so that I can go straight to work for eight. <clears throat> so it can be a little bit, you know, a lot going on. But for me, by, excuse me, y'all. For us, by going to sleep a little bit early, we would sleep around 10.30. That gives us enough time. Um, and then by having everything prepared. So just like I prepare everything for myself the night before, so does babe. He takes his clothes out, his gym clothes, and you know, he just prepares himself. He doesn't necessarily have to like make his lunch and all that, but he typically does because we meal prep. So doing all those things that I told y'all last night, as well as just getting up, putting your phone across the room, that's super beneficial. And I know it's dark, sorry about that, but it's 5 a.m. So, you know, it's going to be a little dark. Um, I may pull y'all back out in the gym just so y'all can kind of see, you know, what's going on. But, yeah, for the most part, excuse me, for the most part, y'all, just prepare yourself. Prepare yourself and, you know, it'll be easier. It's still going to be hard. For me, it's still hard. Like I said, this is our second week, you know, consistently getting up at 4.30 and, yeah, it's gonna be hard. Um, babe is better at it than me, like I said. So it's kind of better when you have someone to do it with you. But even when, you know, I didn't have Babe and I was getting up this early um, when I lived in Atlanta. If you've been following me for that long, you know I used to do two a days. <clears throat> and I would get up <clears throat> at 4 30, go to the gym, then I would go after work as well. So. <sighs> I'm not new to this. I'm really very much true to this, but it just makes a difference when you have help. Anyway, y'all can't see me anyway. I do have my uh, mixture, so I have my pre-workout and all that in there that I've been drinking. And we're just about to go to the gym and get it in. So, let's go. Numbers do I still have? Who do I know from the past? Hit one, she say she got a man. Hit another one, it goes green. Must have changed phones on the team. Remember when you let me in between? That was 2017. All good, just to look around. Find one to see my type. Now my dog, and he know what I like. He done found me plenty in my life. Problem is, I meet a girl tonight. Then I go and treat her too nice. Got a red credit card swipes. I don't even know if she a wife. But I do know one thing, though. Women, they come, they go. Saturday through Sunday, Monday. Monday through Sunday, yo. Maybe I'll love you one day. Maybe we'll someday grow. Till then, I sit my drunk ass on that runway. On this runway. 2.30, baby, won't you meet me by the beat? Baby, lady, you can show me things. You know what it is whenever I'm busy. Baby, 
We made it. gang and it is currently after six i am leaving the gym typically i would stay from like five till about 6 15 but i have an orthodontist appointment at seven so your girl gotta get home shower dressed um and back out the door in about 40 minutes to make it to my orthodontist appointment so with that being said i'm gonna end this vlog here hopefully it was as detailed as possible i'll probably do another one like this where i make it um aesthetically pleasing and just do a voiceover and just show you guys what i'm doing but i really wanted to walk you guys through what i do and y'all know i'm more of like a vlog style type blogger um instead of like the old school voiceovers which i really like to watch sometime but y'all know i like to talk like in real time so hopefully this helped you guys kind of understand what i do in order to like really get up um it's hard let's not try to make oh it's so easy no it's hard but once you're up and you're doing it for a couple days it's really worth it it feels really good and um i'm excited about continuing to do it so i did a little bit of cardio this morning and then i focused on legs um i focused on my legs with thighs hamstrings all that good stuff it was a leg day for me so i'm a little bit exhausted but that's okay um so yeah that's it i'm gonna go shower and start my day so the key to getting up at 4 30 a.m to get to the gym by five for me is starting the night before and just preparing everything early that way you're good so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see more videos of how i'm able to be so productive um let me know give this video a big thumbs up and if you guys do want to see the aesthetic version where it's like me doing a voiceover over what i'm doing and all that good stuff let me know i love watching those they're just super hard and time consuming to film but i got y'all so hopefully this got this helped you guys out because a lot of people said they wanted to see like how i do it and that's how i do it um if you have any other questions like specific questions leave them in the description box below and i will see you guys